Despite rising costs, dining out remains popular for foodies and those just looking for a meal away from home. A cheap place for even like a, a modest entree, 22 bucks. Restaurant tabs are high due to rising supply chain pressures, global unrest and inflation. Menu prices around the country rose more than 8% between September 2021 and September 2022. It's Boston. I mean, everything's expensive is what it is. You go to any normal, I would say, bar, grill, etc., you're probably looking at 15 plus for uh, an entree. Despite Boston's budget-breaking reputation, some restaurants still manage to offer affordable fare without sacrificing flavor. Galleria Umberto in the North End is one example. Diners flock to the pizza shop and wait in line for a $2.25 slice. Out in the burbs, authentic dumplings and noodles pack in flavor and value at Jean's Chinese Flatbread Cafe in Woburn. Meals hover around the $10 to $12 range, says owner Gene Wu. I think that reasonable price for all the ingredients this couple years go up a lot. But I'm still thinking right now we just don't make money like before. Wu immigrated to the United States from China in 1997 to attend college. He says his popularity surged in part because of his traditional cooking skills. I made a lot of friends here. You know, during the summer, they like come to my house for party. And they come, my <laughs> come to my house for noodles. They know I can make noodles. They love it. Then they keep telling me, hey, Gene, open a restaurant. Wu opened his first restaurant in 2010. He says he focuses on high quality ingredients. We're making a fresh noodle from scratch. When the customer picking order, also we try to use a local fresh vegetable. Fast service and treating customers like family are priorities for Wu. We're not changing a lot. We have some customers, you see some of the young kids right here, they come here for college. After college, many years, they come back to here. You know, they just want to come back for the noodle. Wu says the best sellers are the dishes that feature hand-pulled noodles. This one includes slow-cooked lamb, broth, chili oil, and dried lily flowers. Also, the number 16 hot sour hand-pulled noodle soup. That one we support. A lot of fresh vegetable from our local fresh, <laughs> fresh vegetable. Wu says one of the best values under $11 is the hot and sour soup, which boasts 13 house-made pork dumplings. Wu says whatever customers choose from the menu, it's made with love. He's humbled by his customers' loyalty and keeps some of their photos on the restaurant's walls for inspiration. Not like only making money from the customer. They are, they are not ATM. They're friends. They're hoping us each other. Yeah. Boston's hidden kitchen is staying small. The Albany Street breakfast and lunch spot is a three-person operation of Silvania Pereira, her husband Paolo, and Chef Stephanie. Established in 1971, the restaurant is popular with office and construction workers who stop in for bacon and eggs, sandwiches, burgers, and steak subs. Pereira bought the business in 2019, knowing the obscure location would pose some challenges. And then the pandemic struck, two months after she took over. At the time, you don't need any money. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But we need to be tough sometimes. We need to be brave. We are here, we need to fight for, for life. Pereira isn't a stranger to challenges. She immigrated to the U.S. from Brazil in 1999. The immigrant is not easy. My sister and I, we came in 1999 and we started to clean the houses. We were working very hard. We got our documents, thanks God. We love this country. Before taking over Hidden Kitchen, Pereira ran a cafe in Brazil with her father and owned a restaurant with her sister in Somerville. She is hopeful more customers will enjoy her pancakes. We are very happy to have people coming and enjoy the breakfast, enjoy our lunch. We are very glad to be here. 
And if you're looking to check out Hidden Kitchen, they're only open on weekdays from 6 a.m. to 2:30 mm. p.m. But most items on the menu are under 10 bucks, so it's a good deal. And back to jeans, there's a reason it's called a flatbread cafe. Customers can get slow cooked pork or lamb on a flatbread of soft mm. Chinese bread, and the that best. is under seven dollars. So that is so a good, good deal as well. All right, up next, a deal's a deal at this family diner.